Old Louisville drivers, listen up. You are now required to stop at each of four different intersections in the area, and it could be a sign for permanent changes to follow. It's our top story here on the night team. I'm Alex Dieterer. Take a look right here at your screen. The following intersections are temporarily turned into always stops as part of a trial program. First at Burnett, first at Magnolia, Brooke at Burnett, and Brooke at Magnolia. Senior reporter Isaiah Kim Martinez and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie show us the city's latest effort to improve road safety. Driving through the heart of Old Louisville to start 2024, you may see blinking red and stop signs rather than the usual traffic signals that have guarded these intersections for years. Do these kind of changes make you feel safer? Yeah, as a pedestrian, they make me feel safer. As, as a driver, when I see a, a stop sign, I know there's no incentive to, to speed up to, to make, there's no light that I need to catch to make it. Across four intersections along Brook and First Streets, the Metro's traffic engineering team is trying something new to get folks to slow down, implementing temporary all-way stops to make the roads safer for pedestrians, bikers, businesses, and the drivers themselves. Well, for many locals, it's no secret if you're driving from Old Louisville to downtown, if you hit one green light, you can often hit all of them. So part of the thought process with this kind of change is to reduce that temptation altogether. We've all experienced it where, you know, you, you barely make the yellow at one light and you know if you pick up your speed a little bit, uh, you know, from 35 to 40, uh, you're gonna really ease into the next light. So it just sort of takes away that incentive. Chris Glasser is the president of Streets for People. Yeah, very happy to see this change. It's a nonprofit that for years has advocated for changes to the city's transit to make the neighborhoods more inviting, including this very proposal. We first brought this forward to the city in 2021 as an idea. The city tells us these modifications will stay in place for three months. If authorities determine speeds have reduced, they'll make these four-way stops permanent. We as an advocacy organization want to be sort of the tailwind, the encouraging, the cheerleaders behind that change to say like, yes, please, these are great. Uh, let's not just do these four, let's do 10, let's do 20. Naturally though, some are skeptical, including one nearby business telling me off camera they've been hit by cars before. The worry is if people can run reds, they can run stop signs just as easily. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 night team on your side. And in a statement, the owner of Burger Boy Diner on Brook Street says, quote, I've been thrilled with the changes. It's also safer for my customers and employees and makes it feel more comfortable to walk without cars flying by at 50 plus miles per hour. Louisville should be looking at every intersection where this is feasible as it would make a huge positive impact on quality of life while saving money on operating costs, end quote.